Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode... Well, it wasn't probably the last episode. It was more of a little side video that I did where I just went around and streamed uh, me playing some Paper Mario and grabbing every single star piece I could think of in every different area. So, if you like, I can put that on screen right here. You can click this little video that's just moving around the screen. You can't see it at the moment uh, for those watching the stream because as of this point forward, I think most of my recordings are going to be streamed recordings. I will not be talking to the chat in most of the videos, but some of them I will. This one's one where I'll be ignoring the chat during videos since this was in our existing series. So, um... Now we're moving on in the story, and I figured we could drop in on, uh... We could drop in on old Merlin over here. He'll help us out. And during all those videos I did, I actually had an issue with running into some things I shouldn't have yet, so I'll be showing the video here of... Uh, what happened. So yeah, I kind of ran into that issue there, and, well, spoilers, right? I ran into those things that I showed off, and uh, now that we're done things here, I can actually head uh, down to Toad Town Tunnels, and we can get to a new area of the game. So, fun times, right? Spinning along. But, I should say I'm unpracticed for this area. I haven't played this area of the game in absolutely forever. Though, if I'm remembering right, there are some glitches I'd like to show about this area of the game. One of which I could show right off the bat, I'm not sure. I believe so, though. I don't think I need to go this way, actually. I think it's the other way. Uh, which way? I'm gonna head this way, see if I'm wrong. I... I don't know. I'll head up here. Let's check. Let's check with Lackalester. Sailing away... Is this the right type, or is this one? I have a feeling this isn't right, but I'm gonna check anyway. Ah, crap. I got hit by first strike. Um... Let's just use a PK Star Storm, right? <laughs> PK Star Storm. No, but um, I'm I apologize right now for not doing any videos in absolutely forever. It's uh, I've been having some issues with work stuff, and as of two days ago, I've now been fired. <laughs> not anything my fault, more of just the fact that we didn't have the income at the place to keep me working there. And I guess that's fine. It's just kind of a letdown because I enjoyed working there and earning the money to support living have things. Alright, done being that guy. Alright, like that. These enemies are almost dead. Stupid spinies being willing to kill. 
Luckily, I have the spike badge on, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, this is an area I haven't been to, so maybe I am going the right way. Oh god. I made the first strike. Let's just use a uh, another star storm. And for anyone who doesn't get the reference I'm making, uh, well, this ability in this game is Star Storm. I think that's more of a reckoning, a uh, call, um, call back to the old uh, Mother series games, where they had a uh, ability called PK Star Storm. Mother, Earthbound, Mother 2, or, well, I guess it'd be Mother 3, Earthbound 2, I don't know, whatever. And just like that, we found a new item. You got the Ultra Boost, the attack power of Mario's jump increases. On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump by pressing A again while in the air. So just instead of our normal spin jump, we have that. It's real useful. It allows us to hit blocks like these. I've been running around doing all those extra things that I'm kind of out of practice at this point, to say the least. Um, let's see how much damage this does. Alright, it's enough to do the Star Storm. So another PK Star Storm! <laughs> yeah, I honestly just hate the uh, Koopas around here, they're kind of annoying. Not enemies I want to deal with. So I'm not dealing with them. I'm just getting the items as I go. Got a power block item, not a bad item. Especially for Koopa enemies like these. But... I just need to get by the spiny and then I'm free. Gotcha. Got up the pipe, and that was the item I needed from down there. I wasn't sure if that was actually down there, if it was someone else, like someone else, somewhere else. Ah, crap. Uh, I haven't seen enemies like these in a while. And as you can see, our damage is increased enough to actually keep doing that. Also, the timing is really easy to do with this attack, I forgot about that. I don't think I'll be able to damage this enemy in the slightest. Nope. So this is gonna take an extra two turns. Um, you can't, don't even help me. So instead, I'm gonna use Watt. Because Watt can actually pierce armor. That we got another star point. Not that it really matters, considering the fact that one star point out of a hundred doesn't. Oh, come on! As you can see, we kind of just burned through all these enemies at this point. It's not even necessary now that we have those boots. I just really don't like dealing with them, so I do everything I can to avoid it. Alright, we got this really nice item. I'm trying to figure out what else I'd like to drop. Uh. Honestly, the power block isn't worth keeping. I'm just gonna be honest about that. It's there's so many items better than it at this point. In fact, the one I was picking up was just a better version of it. So on me, period. All right, jump across here, across here, across here, and across here, and we get up here. We just have to talk to this door, and it lets us in. If we had come here before, it would have been locked and we would have been kind of stuck. I don't think there's anything to here. I think it's on the other side of here. We had left instead of where you go right. You can actually get this. A party upgrade. Which... Uh, let's see. Paralyze all enemies. Master the fan smack to attack the fan. A 
fight. Yeah, Cooper is the best party member for this area because you're going to be fighting a lot of ice enemies. And Cooper actually learns a hit all fire attack. So as you can tell, that's probably a good thing to have with you. Know all the ice enemies? Yeah. Chapter 7, Star Spear on Ice. Alright. Save the game here because I want to try to do a glitch here. If you come down here with sushi out, I believe. What are you doing? Stop that! Have you lost your wits? What if the ice breaks? Your penguins. I wonder what will happen if the ice breaks. No, are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that! That's really dangerous! R really? Don't you ever listen? You're a public nuisance! Take a hike! And he just kicked us out. Oh, that's not the glitch I wanted to show. I What I wanted to show was a glitch where you got stuck in the ground. Okay, apparently I was trying to do things out of order, but all the same... That, I've never seen that scene before, I'm gonna be honest. I, uh... I normally do things in order, but apparently if you try to do that out of order, then he just kicks you out. I didn't even realize that, that's really cool. But, uh, I can't do the glitch, I'll probably have to come back here at some other point and try to show off that glitch. You can actually get stuck in the ground there and do some cool things. I just need to figure out how to do oh my gosh, yes. Get a whiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? I'm gonna be cutting this out of the video and showing this in another video entirely. Alright. Well, I just met Chuck Quizmo. He's a really cool guy. He does this right. Through head and ear. Oh, we have a guest! Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. Uh, um, uh, um, what can you tell us about him? This is the mayor of Shiver City, Mayor Penguin. He's a good friend of Herringway, another penguin, everyone that fills your eyes on him. He's a little absent-minded, but he does his job well. I know I've seen him in Totem before, I wonder if he's been up, ever been up to the castle. Ever seen him before, Mario? I've seen him now, and he looks dead. No reply, Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. <gasps> no! Help! Somebody, anybody! My husband's dead! He's been murdered! What? This is really dark for a kid's game. What's going on here, madam? Just come down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband's dead. Oh, dear, my darling husband, somebody clipped his flippers. Um, by Puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered. This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have the reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! That man with a suspicious mustache! I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in! My husband was alive right up until this man showed up! He must be the murderer! Hey, you mustache! Are you listening? This this good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? It's not me. Don't try to play great with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madame? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, I saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the one who came into this room. It's all adds up. No. See if you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. What's your problem? You don't actually think Mario did it, did you? Oh, I forgot one person. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with the backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slang. How 
is such a horrible plot twist hitter of Peaceful City. You, Mr. Mustache, one more time for the record. You swear you didn't do this? Of course I didn't. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murder yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't you have proved you haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave this city. I don't like you. You're a lying, cheating whore. Uh, so as you might guess, we're totally locked in the city at this point. There is no way out if you try to leave. There's a person sitting on top of this pipe and someone in your way. The reason we went over there is because we went the other way. Uh, a guy over here would have been like, Oh, hey, yeah, you can't do anything there. Uh, we're not letting you out of the city without the mayor's permission. Awesome. When you hear about Shiver City Ice Skating, to when you hear Shiver City Ice Skating, is the first thing that comes to mind, heart. Well, skating's nice too, but not when a monster is loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skating will we will go. Yeah, yeah, heart. Alright, now I believe we can actually break this open without anyone complaining. I still need to figure out how to do that glitch. I wonder if I could, uh... Maybe if I did it now? Dang it, it's sending me in. Whatever, I guess it's not important. We'll show that enough another time. It's fine. So now that you got that key, you can come in here, you can ask this guy. This building's a warehouse, no one can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. I can't believe I lost it, I ought to retrace my steps. Hey listen, if you find a key anywhere, let me know, okay? Alright, warehouse key, bam. Now that I just broke in here because, you know, the guard lost the key, and was standing right next to me watching me open the door, I can head all the way up here. Jump out of here, and it'll send me out. Now I can just slide down here and get up top. I don't remember. I know you can head down here, but I feel like there's some secret here somewhere. Oh well. <laughs> Mark is completely black with just open eyes. What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? Uh, no, I've not. Oh, what? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. Engage stairs. Voice activated staircase. That's awesome. Alright then. Come on, let's go to the mayor's house. As you might guess, uh, I kind of skipped over some dialogue because I forgot about it. I think there should be something here. I don't remember. I oh, won't. Well. You can actually beat him there, technically. Even though it's not beating him there because, you know, he just kind of teleports. But we go much faster than he did, so. Up there. Except we made it through that open door. Whatever. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the murder mystery novel writer Herringway? Whatever, I don't know. What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. Bah! If that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Huh? <gasps> hmm. He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course! It's a message about his death! With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Hayway, you cold-hearted murderer, it all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Mm, yes, you were good friends. Aha, but that was just a cover so no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty murder. Oh, come on, really? You simple, simple penguin, I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have the time to sneak over here to kill Pe Mayor Penguin. It's just like... It's just like... 
say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm. That penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Wait. Wait. Gracious. Hello, everybody. What's going on here? Uh, what? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery is a wash from the plot twist. Huh? Uh, what are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get the souvenir of the pairing way. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. <laughs> yes, that's what's happened. This, this angers me. Here you are, Hangway. This is what I was research uh, searching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full count of the big city. Uh, well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. Uh, but Mayor, I hear we were thinking that you've been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Or you can, you know, do your job, you idiot. Oh. Uh, just a minute, guys. Ah, yes. So sorry. <laughs> I thought it would be either entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello. Sorry about all that. I must apologize. Uh, say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. Well, what's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over the Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. He better bundle up. Alright. So, uh, guys, sorry about the little cut there, I had a bit of issues with the streaming side of things. Gonna have to do only this episode in this recording session, so guys, next time we want to play Paper Mario 64, we're gonna get farther, we're gonna get out to Starborn Valley, and we're gonna have a great time. I heard something about a monster out there, so that's a little bit scary. And if I can figure out the glitch before I upload this video, then I'll put it at the end of this. If not, then I'll probably put it once I finish up this area in the little post anything we've missed section. So guys, I'll see you guys next time.